she gets 90 days in jail for stopping on the left lane of the highway to bring some ducks back to her house. The duck lady gets 90 days in jail with time to be served on the weekend. I think she gets off easy. The Crown prosecutor wanted more jail time. The judge, however, only gave her 90 days and on top of that to be served on weekend. The judge claims she showed no remorse in court, no regards for human life. You can't fix stupid. Now, I had predicted she probably wouldn't do any jail time, but that she should be found guilty, which she was. A jury convicted her, and the judge laid the sentence, finally. It took four years for this process to happen, but here's what we do know now from the court case. She stopped her vehicle on the left lane on the highway, parked her vehicle, got out of her vehicle to take home some ducks that were on the side of the road. She didn't break her vehicle, stop her vehicle to prevent roadkill because of crossing ducks. She saw ducks on the side of the road that had no mother. So she stopped her vehicle, got out, and picked up the ducks. Perhaps to cook some duck à l'orange. Who knows? But she tells the jury she was going to bring the ducks home. First of all, there's a law, which is by the Ministry of Wildlife and Fauna, that you're not allowed to take wildlife out of nature. Highway is not really a natural environment, but you're still not allowed to bring these animals home. Because according to the ministry, if they become roadkill, that's food for another animal. Secondly, she had no immediate need to stop. She claims it could have happened to anyone. It was like an accident. She didn't stop to prevent an accident or the death of the ducks. She stopped to pick them up from the side of the road to bring them into her car. People are on the internet blaming the motorcyclist for speeding. Now let's look at the speed he was actually going at. He was going 130 kilometers an hour in a 90 kilometer an hour zone. So he was anywhere from 20 to 30 kilometers over. That was considered in court. And it was deemed that there was no way he would have been able to see the car and stop in time, even if he was driving at 90. Now, some people are saying he was tailgating. There was another car that was able to swerve and avoid creating an accident. And then the motorcycle smacked into the car in question. Turns out, she didn't only stop on the left side of the road or the left lane. It was the left lane in a curb. Can't fix being stupid. She had a bad lawyer. You definitely don't stop on in the left lane. You pull over to the right, and then you maybe try and save the ducks. But in this case, the ducks were not even crossing. They were walking alongside of the road, afraid to cross. Animal instinct is sometimes a lot better than the human thought process. Many are comparing this to the Guy Turcotte case, the guy who killed his two kids because of a fight with his, his ex-wife. He was deemed to be criminally insane at the time, and he didn't get much jail time. However, he did get jail time, and he got more than 90 days in jail. He 
he was deemed to be criminally insane and he's now a free man. Now the Crown is going through a whole new process because they're appealing that decision, but that's another issue. Some even have the guts to compare this to the Luca Magnotta case, fearing that he's going to become also criminally insane and walk out, comparing it to the Guy Turcotte case. You can't compare apple and oranges. Guy Turcotte was released because the imminent threat to the public was over. His kids are dead. It was a fight with his ex-wife. As for Luca Magnotta, who we are led to believe partook in cannibalism, well, those shrinks are not going to let him walk the streets of Montreal that easily. There is a nice irony in being considered criminally insane. The criminal court justice can only detain you for 25 years, maximum. But if you're criminally insane, only a shrink can release you. Possibly in 10 years, possibly in 20 years, possibly in 30 years, or possibly never. So, Perhaps it would be a better solution to be considered criminally insane if you don't want Luca Magnota to ever be released.